Welcome to the Olympia High School Code of Conduct. Your deans are Amy Fisher in room 120, Jason Greer, room 552, Cody Jarrett, room 11101, Stevie Oliver, room 402, Nora Packnick, room 634C, Eric Saxon, room 116 in the attendance office. Please take note of the following information from your student code of conduct. Positive alternative to school suspension. The alternative to suspension classroom or PASS will be an on-site intervention classroom designed to address the needs of students who have committed a school level behavioral infraction. It will be replacing the in-school suspension classroom. Consequences for being late. First infraction, written warning and counseling and direction. Second infraction, written warning and counseling and direction. Third infraction, discipline referral, one day of pass, parent contact. Fourth infraction, discipline referral, two days of pass, parent contact. Fifth infraction, discipline referral, one day out of school suspension, parent contact, conference. Sixth infraction, discipline referral, administrative discretion, parent contact, and conference. Please note the attendance office will only accept items that are academic related. No food, flowers, etc. Dress code reminders. All shirts must have sleeves. No ripped or torn clothing. All outfits must be free of holes from the knees up. Shirts must be a sufficient length to cover the midriff and be able to be tucked into the student's waistband. Shirts must have a neckline sufficient to modestly cover the entire shoulder and chest. Dresses, skirts, and shorts must be mid-thigh in length. Length must be to the end of the fingertip when arms are extended straight down to the side of the student. Leggings do not count as pants. Clothing that is considered unacceptable includes offensive, objectionable, obscene, and or controversial wording or pictures. It promotes or advertises alcohol, drugs, or tobacco products. Association with or denotes any gang or gang-related activity, including trench coats. Accessories that are considered unacceptable and subject to confiscation include hats, bandanas, sunglasses, gloves, do-rags, stocking caps, ski caps, hair wraps. Shoes are required at all times. Bedroom shoes and slippers, as well as pajamas, are unacceptable. Consequences for dress code. If a student is in violation of dress code, they may not attend classes that day until they are in dress code. A parent may either bring a change of clothes or the student can wear clothes that are available through the attendance office. Consequences for dress code. First infraction, written warning and counseling and direction. Second infraction, written warning and counseling and direction. Third infraction, discipline referral, one day of pass, parent contact. Fourth infraction, discipline referral, two days of pass, parent contact. Fifth infraction, discipline referral, one day out of school suspension, parent contact, conference. Sixth infraction, discipline referral, administrative discretion, parent contact, and conference. Cell phones may only be used in a classroom with a teacher's permission. They are not to be used in any common areas, between classes, or during lunch. Cell phone consequences. First infraction, written warning and counseling and direction. Second infraction, written warning and counseling and direction. Third infraction, discipline referral, one day of pass, parent contact. Fourth infraction, discipline referral, two days of pass, parent contact. Fifth infraction, discipline referral, one day out of school suspension, parent contact, conference. Sixth infraction, discipline referral, administrative discretion, parent contact, and conference. 
safe harbor provision. A student may voluntarily surrender an object to a school official that is prohibited by the student code of conduct, provided the object could be lawfully owned off campus. Examples could include a foldable pocket knife or cigarettes if you are 18 years or older. This safe harbor does not apply for firearms, drugs, or alcohol. It also does not apply if a search is ongoing in the school. Student parking. Parking is a privilege at OHS. Like driving, a privilege is not a right. Privileges will be revoked for all level four and certain level three offenses. Privileges will be suspended and may be revoked for the following reasons. Skipping, repeated misconduct of any kind, reckless driving, for example, cutting off vehicles waiting to turn into school. If you have any parking questions or concerns, please go to 11102. Level one discipline referrals. Level one offenses are minor acts of misconduct that interfere with the orderly operation of the school. These include cheating, classroom disruption, disrespect, misleading information, profane, obscene, or abusive language, unauthorized absences. Level one consequences could include administrative discretion, pass, or OSS. A level two discipline referral is for intermediate acts of misconduct, which are more serious or disruptive examples of level one offenses. These include destruction of property, fighting, gambling, intimidation or threats, bullying, disrespect, forgery, insubordination, and stealing under $50. Level two consequences could include administrative discretion, pass or OSS. Level three discipline referrals include major acts of misconduct, which include repeated misconduct acts from level two and serious disruption of school order. Level three offenses include battery, disrespect with a minimum of five to 10 day suspension, fighting with an automatic 10 day suspension, possession of contraband materials, refusal to turn over a cell phone, stealing between 50 and $300, bullying and other threats. Consequences will result in out of school suspension. Level four discipline referrals are the most serious act of misconduct, which is a grounds for expulsion and will result in a mandatory 10 day suspension and a hearing to determine your expulsion. These include possession of alcohol, threats, battery, drug possession, vandalism, inciting or leading a fight, weapons, sexual harassment or sexual offenses, and theft over $300. Abuse of electronic and internet communication devices. The use of the internet or an electronic device to convey any communication, image, or illustration that causes or contributes to the intimidation, harassment, abuse, or disparagement of students and staff is strictly prohibited. This includes any communication that originates off school grounds and adversely impacts the educational environment at the school for students or staff. The following electronic communication is prohibited. Cyber stalking, bullying, cyber bullying, coercion, extortion, making threats of violence or harm or other computer related crimes that impact the educational environment. Violation of the abuse of electronics and internet communication devices policy may result in discipline in accordance with the code of student conduct. OCPS administrators have sole discretion to determine whether any electronic communication, image or illustration violates this policy in the code of student conduct. Cafeteria behavior. All foods given to students during normal school hours must come from an identifiable source and are presented in a sealed container with the manufacturer clearly identified so that OCPS has established a responsible party for the preparation, handling, and transportation of the food item. Food prepared in homes may only be given by the parent or guardian to their own son, daughter, or dependent and not shared with other students. Conduct for students transported by school bus. One. 
obey the bus driver at all times. Two, violations of the code of student conduct or any action or behavior by a student to substantially distract the driver and cause or has the potential to cause a safety hazard on a moving bus may be the basis for suspension from bus and school and expulsion from bus and riding privileges. Use of profanity. Profanity directed at any faculty, staff, or adult on campus will result in 10 days out of school suspension. Profanity directed at a student may result in five days out of school suspension.